This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 15 3531 with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Dell Inspiron 15 3531 laptop computer. This is for the non touch screen version of this laptop. The touch screen version has a different procedure. Before we start, we want to remove all sources of power, and that means removing the battery. In order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, move the two levers on either side of the battery outward, and lift up the battery by the front and remove the battery. While we're on the bottom of the laptop, we'll verify the model number of this laptop computer. To do that, we look at the very small label right under the battery. I looked at the second column, and it says Inspiron 15-3531. Okay, once we do that, we can start working on the laptop. And I'll show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a pH we have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers that we use to manipulate cables, remove any screws that may be stuck, and also to do some prying. I'll show you in a little bit. And finally, a hobby knife or exacto knife, and we use that to lift up adhesive tape and also to do some prying, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Okay, the first order of business is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And But before we remove the screen bezel, we need to remove the hinge covers that are holding the screen bezel in place. These are the hinge covers. And I'll show you the procedure to do that. We take our hobby knife and first thing is loosen the seam between the screen bezel and the screen and the hinge cover so we open up this seam and then do the same thing on the back we loosen the second seam like so and see make sure that there's a small gap then we go back to the top again and use our hobby knife to start prying up the hinge cover Make sure the screen is tilted all the way back and gently start prying up the hinge cover. Once there's enough space, we reach in with our metal tweezers closed and gently go in and pre deep and then just lift it up and the hinge cover comes out. Uh, to put the hinge cover back in, all you do is you pop it in and just secure the seam. So I'll just do it right now. So we pop it in and gently push from the back. Either if the tweezers don't work, push from the back using the hobby knife and push with our fingertips and it's in again. And make sure that the gap in the back is closed again. Okay, so let's try this again. Make sure we get this right. This is the most difficult part of the whole procedure. Open up the seam at the top. Open up the seam at the bottom. Reach in with the hobby knife to lift it up just enough so that we can reach in with the metal tweezers. Reach in and pop it up. Okay, we're going to do that with the other hinge cover. Same procedure. Oh, before we go further on this hinge cover, so this is the top and this is the bottom. The bottom side is longer and there's a wider opening on one side and a narrower opening on the other side. The wider opening goes towards the middle of the computer so don't get the two hinge covers mixed up. The wider opening goes this way. Okay, same thing on this side. Open up the seam with metal tweezers with with uh, exacto knife. 
open up the seam in the back also, like so. Use the hobby knife to lift up the hinge cover, like so. And then use the metal tweezers to pop the hinge covers out. Once we get the hinge covers out, we can snap off the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. In order to do that, we put our fingertips on the screen side, and our fingernails, and gently lift up and out and listen for the snapping sounds. That means the screen is snapping off. And you do that all the way around the screen. If you get stuck at a place, just keep moving and come back to that place later. It will be easier to do that. So we keep going, like so. And same thing on the bottom. And then there might be a seam on the bottom that we need to open up. So we use our hobby knife to open up the seam, seam on the bottom. Make sure it's open, like so. Once we do that, we can just lift the screen bezel out and put it to the side. Okay, let's take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted on some metal mounting tabs with two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. So the next order of business is to remove the screws. And when you do that, make sure that the laptop is tilted back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall forward on you when you remove all the screws. So that's two, three, and four. Okay, this screw got lost. We'll recover this. Okay, we've recovered the screw. Make sure you don't lose it and put it with the other screws. Okay, next we grab the screen by the metal tabs at the top and gently tilt it forward and lay it down like so. For this type of screen, there is only one connector and we need to remove this connector. So there's some tape here, we'll lift up this tape, and there's some adhesive tape holding the connector down. So we, using our hobby knife, lift up the corner of the adhesive tape, until we grab a corner, and then use our fingertips to lift up the tape. And what we want to do is preserve this label, so we'll try again from this other side. Okay, gently. And it looks like it's not possible to preserve this label, so we'll just lift up the adhesive tape and put it to the side. We'll reuse it again later. And then there's a second adhesive tape on the bottom. So it's, it's clear on clear, so it's hard to see, but you can see where the corner is. And we lift up the corner of that. And once we've got enough to grab onto, we start lifting it up like so. And we lift up this tape and pull it back. Once we pull it all back, the second tape will expose the connector. And in order to remove the connector, we slide the connector backward like this, and it's out. And let me do it again. There's also a metal bar that I didn't lift out. I'll show you again. So we put the connector back in, and the metal bar goes down. Uh, if you see a metal bar like this, it's best to lift up the metal bar first, like so, and then slide the connector out. Okay, so we lift up the metal bar and slide the connector out, like so. And let's show you how to reconnect the connector. 
you slide the connector back in and hold it by the metal bar and engage the metal bar. So let's get a close up. Okay, this is what a properly connected connector look like, looks like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's disconnect it one more time and take a look at this screen. This type of screen is referred to as a 15.6 inch LED slim screen. It has two metal mounting tabs at the top and two at the bottom. And let's look at the part number. The part number is LTN156AT30. LTN156AT30. That's the part number you need to look up when looking for the screen. Most likely when you get your new screen in, it won't have the exact same part number, but it'll look the same and the connector will be in the same place. Uh, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen and what you get with us is free email technical support. So if you have any problems, just send us an email and we walk you through. You get this exact same toolkit that I use for free with the screen. We have a two year warranty against defects on our screen and we have free shipping if you order in the United States. Uh, if you live outside the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. So just go follow the regular checkout procedure and select your country. Okay, to order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to buy the right screen online. And then you just go through the checkout procedure. Once you do, and get your screen in, reconnect the screen as I showed you with the connector, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two top screws in and two bottom screws in, snap the screen bezel back on, and insert the hinge covers as I showed you before, and that's it. Okay, uh, that should be good to go, and your laptop will be good as new. So once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.